Soon car lovers will flood the city of Detroit to get a peek of the hottest cars of the year. And Fox News' Roof Raj is live at Cobo Hall to give us a sneak peek inside the North American International Auto Show before the doors open to the public. Well, that's right. You know what? And it's been a workout already. We've been here just for about an hour and 10 minutes or so, and we are trucking along with photographer Rich Rother on wheels on his camera, portable, running around. We're not coming to you from Ford, and the reason we're here is because behind us, you see what's under the covers there? That'll be unveiled, and it's one of the big reveals today. It's the new Ford F-150. You know what? It's going to be lighter. It's going to just be faster. It's going to be stronger. It's going to be one of those trucks that Lauren Fix, of course, the car expert herself, knows all about. Uh, Lauren, first off, for those who aren't familiar, you are literally, you and your daughter, a mother-daughter car expert team. Yes, we are. Uh, I'm the car coach, and my daughter is the car coach 2.0. So we each handle different things. My background's, of course, in the auto industry. I am from here originally. I was born in Dearborn, so I guess it's in my blood. <laughs> and also in the blood, obviously, talking about Ford when you're from Dearborn, specifically the Ford F-150 today. What's the big deal with the Ford F-150? It is lighter. Right. It's going to be tougher, actually. F-150 has been the top-selling vehicle for 32 years. That means cars, trucks, everything. It's going to be made of aluminum, so it's going to be lighter. That means you're going to save about 500 pounds and gain about five miles to the gallon. We don't know the exact details. They've sort of kept it under wrap. They've kind of been teasing us a little bit, but the fact is this is a hot truck. This is the big news here at the auto show because with Ford being such a successful product in the F-150 lineup, we're going to see some tougher trucks that actually have better fuel economy, better performance, better towing capacity. I'm excited. You know what's really funny about the press day guys, by the way, if you're, when you're watching at home, is the fact that they'll do things like kind of unveil the front yeah. and then put the back back down, and they're, yeah. they're covering it, yeah. and then they'll tell you, do not tweet any photos of this yet. <laughs> and then they create this buzz with reporters like us, right. and they say, we got to talk about I this. I got a picture. I got a half a picture, yes. <laughs> and there are people here trying to get sneak into the auto show early before they cover it, too. So there's been some people here also trying to sneak in to get photos. I know coming up at 720 or so, we're going to be talking about the Mustang, but you do love talking about the Mustang. Yeah. Uh, a little bit about the other cars that we see here. I mean, obviously the Mustangs are behind us over here, and we'll be getting more of a shot of that, uh, I know, from the back here. But what what is the big deal with the Mustang? Well, they've been they've been working on the redesign since 2009. So this is something that's going to be the 50th anniversary of the Mustang, April 17th, 1964. Uh, hence, we named our daughter Shelby. I collect old Mustangs and Shelbys. So I'm a real enthusiast. I will be at the 50th launch, which is going to be in Charlotte. There's also a matching one on the West Coast in Las Vegas. And this put together by the Mustang Club of America. So they actually went, brought this vehicle, and this is something no one's going to cover because they're not MCA people. Unless you're watching, you probably know. They actually talked to the Mustang Club of America and asked their opinion because if they're not buying these cars, they're not going to sell. If they made it so dramatically different that it looked sure. like they remember the Ford Probe and they were going to do that, if you had done that to the Mustang, people wouldn't buy them. I have a new Mustang, and I'm looking for the new one when it comes you out. You want the resemblance and the semblance of what you remember in the Mustang as a classic car. Right, the design, the whole view. It's very. It's got a little retro to it. Remember the Shelby era? Well, now we're kind of rolling into that boss era, which is from the 70s. So we're getting that flavor, that technique, the cool lineup, the, everything that really makes these cars so special. And they come in three different engines, and they're going to start at $26,000, which is amazing. The Car Coach, the Car Coach 2.0, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. We'll be talking to you throughout the auto show. Here's the challenge that I'm up for right now. You see this? This is the Viper, and the green one at that, the new one. Someone asked, I want to see a picture of this. Tweet it. So I'm about to tweet this picture. The challenge to you is follow me on Twitter, and I'm going to go and try to find your car that you want a picture of. And we'll post it not only on my Twitter page, but also on the Fox 2 Twitter page as well. For now, we're live at the press preview at the North American International Auto Show. Rupraj, Fox 2 News.